Before we mount the flight computer into the rocket's airframe, we need to add something. This tiny cable connects the flight computer's pyro channels to one of the actual charges. We'll connect this to pyro channel 1, which is what will be used to deploy parachutes during flight. Just like we did with the battery, we'll insert the exposed leads into the pyro channel terminal blocks. Once they're in, we can screw those terminal blocks down, and again, we want this to be pretty secure. Now we'll take the cable and we'll thread it up through the top bracket of the flight computer. To make sure these cables work, we'll boot up signal R2 and then connect to it with our app. Now we'll tap on signal R2, go into pyro control, and then look at the red letters that say DISC. When I put my finger across the leads, they say CONT, which means continuity. You can use this to verify whether something is connected to a pyro channel before flight. That looks good to me, so I'll turn the computer off and it's time to mount it in the rocket. First up, we need to remove that tape that we put on those TVC extension cables from earlier. Then we'll grab the TVC extension cables and thread them up through the bottom bracket of the flight computer. Once again, take care to make sure that the white wire is facing toward the top of the computer with the black wire toward the bottom. Also take care to make sure that the X and Y ports have the X and Y extension cables in them. Plug the cables in, then start threading the rest of the cable slack up through the bracket. Then we'll take a rubber band and wrap it around this cable slack. We'll do this a couple of times so it's nice and tight. With the cable secure, thread the rest of the cable slack up through the top bracket of the flight computer. Pay attention to the orientation of the computer here. The hole in the airframe should line up with the side the power switch is on. Now we'll slide the flight computer down into the airframe. This next part can be a little bit tricky. What we want to do is make sure that the TVC extension cables are not disconnected. I'll use my finger to hold the TVC extension cables while I pull out the rest of the slack from the cables. We want to make sure that very little slack exists between the thrust vectoring mount and the flight computer. Now we can screw the flight computer in. I only use two screws for this. I'll use my finger here to move around the thrust vectoring mount and make sure there are no jams. Then we can boot up the flight computer. Startup looks good to me, so let's turn the computer off and attach some parachutes. We'll start by attaching the shock cord to the body coupler. This is pretty simple. Unscrew the quick link, snap it to the U-bolt, and then screw it back down. Make sure the connection is secure, and then let's move on to the nose cone. We'll thread the upper part of the shock cord through the upper part of the airframe. At this point, we can also put the piston inside the upper part of the airframe. Now we'll unscrew the quick link, attach it to the eye bolt on the nose cone, and then screw it back down. These two sections on the body coupler airframe hold pyro ejection charges. If you're curious about how to make these, there's a link in the description down below. You only need one charge per flight, but having two makes things a little simpler between flights. We'll thread one charge through the first hole, and then the other charge through the second hole. Now taking note of the internal labeling, we'll insert the body coupler into the upper section of the airframe and screw it in using four M3.5 screws. It's time to pack the parachutes. I've got three red chutes here that will help Electron drift safely to the ground. To attach them, I'll unscrew the quick link, thread the parachute lines through it, then screw it back down. There are lots of ways to pack your parachute, but I like to put the lines inside the chute and fold it over itself a few times. Then we'll bunch up some of the shock cord with it and slide it into the airframe. With the parachutes packed, it's time to wire them up. We have two charges ready to go, but we only need one. I'll fold this one up and pack it away for later flights. We'll separate the leads on the main charge and then connect them to the alligator clips that are connected to pyro channel 1. Lastly, I'll cover these alligator clips in blue tape. If the clips were to accidentally make contact with each other, they could short out and Signal wouldn't be able to fire the pyro charge. Now we'll tuck all the wires into the body coupler, connect the airframe sections, and then screw them together. In the next video, we'll do some ground testing on the flight computer and parachutes.